Hi, I'm Brendan McEnany, Green Building Program Advisor for the City of Santa Monica. We're here at the Santa Monica Civic Center Auditorium for the 7th Annual Alt Build Expo. Alt Build is the city's green building conference where you can learn about energy efficiency, solar power, better materials, and water savings. Let's go inside and meet some of the vendors and see what's going on. Behind me are hundreds of vendors of green products and services that can help you on your next project. We're going to talk first about solar energy. There are new rebates for solar thermal for hot water. There's also rebates and tax incentives for solar PV, which is electricity. We're going to go talk to some vendors and find out how can you get solar on your next project. So we're here at the Perma City booth. Hi, I'm Brendan. Hi, Brendan. I'm Kirsten. Kirsten, Perma City Solar. nice to meet you. Yeah, nice so you. can you tell us a little bit about how residents can get solar on their roof? Absolutely. We're a solar installer and we work with the solar panel manufacturers to get great looking, great operating systems for homes and businesses. And the, the state of California has a really wonderful rebate program that covers between 30 to 50 percent of the cost of the system to help increase the number of solar homes we have out there. It's all part of the uh, Million Solar Roofs Initiative. So here in Santa Monica, for instance, California Edison will pay you a rebate about 30 percent to put solar on your house. Plus, you get a very generous federal tax credit. So you can own your power you, instead of renting you your power. You own your power, absolutely. Wow, that's great. So a lot of people yeah. think solar is really expensive, but it sounds like there are rebates and incentives out there. Have you seen a lot of interest in solar? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the, the industry has been growing somewhere between 50 to 100 percent a year, depending on the year. Wow. Last year, during uh, one of the toughest recession years, uh, the industry, I believe, grew about 50 percent. And our company grew uh, a heck of a lot during a really hard time, and it's because this is a great thing that you can do for your planet, for your family, for yourself. Instead of getting dirty coal energy or nuclear power, instead of having to depend on other people's core power, we can depend on the sun core power. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well this is great stuff that you're doing. And I know residents can get more information at solarsantamonica.com about mm -hmm. how to do solar in Santa Monica. Absolutely. But it's great stuff you're doing. I'm glad there's a lot of interest. Thanks for talking right. with me. Absolutely, it's All a right. pleasure. So we're here with Spencer from rent to green box Hey Spencer, how's it going? Fantastic. Always happy to be here. Tell us a little bit about your company and your products here. Well, basically, uh, rent a green box is the first comprehensive zero-waste pack-and-move solution in America. What we do is we rent you the boxes that are made from recycled plastic trash that replaces cardboard. So you don't have to fuss with any tape, crush, tear, rip, water damage. All you have to do is rent our boxes, you pack, you move. When they're empty two weeks later, we swing by, pick them up, sanitize them, and then run them to the next client. Wow, that's great. Why don't you show us some of the products we've got here? Okay, great. Um, some of the things that we basically make is we take cereal boxes and we make a, a series of packing material. This is the replacement for styrofoam. And what's great is we can use this about 30 times. So when you use this material, you give it back to us, we clean it, process it, and then reuse it, which is always better than recycling. We also have the replacement for bubble wrap, and this is called Yami. And what's great is you can wrap all your valuables, crystal, yadro, anything that's high end, and this is half the cost of bubble wrap. And our newest product, this is basically a corner cap, and how this works is it just goes over any picture frame, you pack, you move, you give it back to us. And this whole system is zero waste, and it's basically built on our green boxes, and we take bleach bottles from landfills, we clean it, sort it, chop the material out, and then what we do is we take the green resin, and we inject the boxes. When the box lasts 400 times, we chop it up, grind it, and make more nano resin, and then we make another box. So it's completely zero waste. Excellent. Well, great green business in the local community. Spencer, thanks very hey, much for pleasure. talking to us. Well, thank you so much for the right. opportunity. Take care. Thank you. Here at the exhibit hall, people are getting information from vendors about green products and services. One of the most important things to think about in Southern California is landscape water conservation. How do you save water outside the house? We're going to go down and find out a little bit more about that right now. So we're here with Rob from Toro Irrigation Solutions. Hey Rob, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good to see you. Well, tell us a little bit about landscape water conservation, how homeowners can save water at their homes. Well, right now is the best time for any, any homeowner to take a look at their irrigation system because all the water agencies are going into tiered build and all your water rates are going to go sky high. So. Instead of ripping out everything, there's some simple things that we have that you can put in and make it really simple and easy. For example, we have these new spray nozzles, it's called precision spray nozzles. And unlike anybody else's in the world, it's a new technology called chip technology. Water goes into here and then creates a 200 cycle per second oscillation stream, which then creates every water droplet the same size. By reducing the water 35%, you're actually putting more water on the ground. So that's one simple way of doing this. So Rob, tell us a little bit about the controller here. Sure. It's called the smart controller. 
the more you tell this controller, the smarter it gets. For example, if you had this at your house and you want to water your lawn, you turn it on at station number one in program and say it's going to be the lawn, but then you tell it what kind of lawn it has. Then you turn the top knob and it says what kind of dirt is it buried in. And then you select what kind of dirt. Is it sand? Is it loam? Is it clay? Whatever. Now that you told it all the information, it will automatically calculate the, the scheduling for you. So you don't have to say 10 minutes, 15 minutes, a half an hour. It will automatically do that. So as you mentioned, you know, water rates are going up. So here we're not only helping the environment in Southern California where water is scarce, but you're also going to be saving a lot more money with these kinds exactly. of products. And I know if you want more information about sustainable landscaping, you can go to sustainablesm.org. So here we are with Dan Thompson from The Building Doctors. Dan, how's it going today? Doing well, how about yourself? Good to see you. So tell me a little bit about your company, because here we've got a lot of people who are looking for new construction projects or remodels, but you guys focus on existing buildings. Tell right. me more. Well, what we do is we do a comprehensive home energy audit. One of the keys to our tools are this thing called a blower door test. We actually either fill up the house full of air or we depressurize it and suck the air out of the house. And we can tell what the effective leakage area is of the home. And while that house is depressurized, we go around with an infrared camera and we can see where the air is leaking in from the outside. We can also see if there's poorly performing insulation. Sometimes we can catch water leaks. This is called a duct blaster. Same principle, we fill up the ducts full of air, we seal up all the vents. The average home in California has 30% duct loss. Wow. 30% of the air that you're paying to heat or cool is getting lost up into the subframing, up into the uh, attic space. And that's just that's just completely wasteful. You guys come in with the equipment, you do the diagnosis, and then you cure these sick buildings. Absolutely, yeah. That's, that's what we do. Stuff. Well, thanks for talking day. with me. Appreciate it. Great. Have a good day. Thanks. While there's lots of information here for the do-it-yourselfer who's researching their own green project, there's also plenty of help from experts in green design and architecture for those more complex projects. We're going to go and talk to some of the leading firms in green design about how to do just that. How's it going, Eric? Good to see you. So we're here with Claremont Environmental Design Group and Eric Peterson, who's an architect with the firm. Now, there's a lot of people here, Eric, looking for do-it-yourself information, but some right. people have more complex projects and they need help from experts. So That's tell correct. us a little bit about your firm. Well, we're a 28-year-old landscape architecture firm, second generation, growing out of pioneering architects and landscape architects from the Center for Regenerative Studies at Cal Poly. It's trying to understand ecosystems, how they function, and making our systems function like an ecosystem, which optimizes energy performance and uh, material performance. You know, I gotta ask, I know you've built some lead platinum homes in Santa Monica, and I see this material here, which looks really interesting to me. Can you explain to me a little bit what this is behind us? This is a material called Apex Block, and we discovered it after a client of ours lost their home in a fire. And it turns out that this material made out of 80% recycled post-industrial styrofoam, when it's mixed with a cement batter, creates a four-hour firewall. So it's highly fire resistant, it's got great acoustical separation properties, and it's highly thermally efficient as well. So you get an R32 wall out of it, which is almost three times what your standard wall performance is. So it's energy efficient, it's fire resistant, and it's made from recycled content. That's correct. That's a great material. So here we are with Tanaya Hassan, who's the Hi. Greenpoint rated program manager for Build a Green. How's it going, Tanaya? I'm good. How are you, Brendan? Good to see you. Tell us a little bit about Build a Green, the organization. Well, Build a Green is a nonprofit organization. We provide professional services for the building professional. We provide trainings, we provide a rating system, both for new homes and for existing homes. And then we also work with a lot of local jurisdictions to help them develop credible standards for their green building ordinances. And gonna be training um, professionals to help do that work. Great, well actually on that note, I know you guys provide a lot of resources for building professionals. Absolutely. So we're gonna to talk to Janelle Jacks over here who does the professional development program manager for Build It Green, is that right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about some of the things you provide for building professionals. Well, we provide third-party certification courses for our certified green building professional training, our Greenpoint rated, both new home and existing home where people can become an advisor or a rater to design, build, or to um, rate all these energy efficiency retrofits that you keep hearing about. That's great. So Build a Green, great organization, just one of the many resources you can find by coming down here to Alt Build. We love Alt Build. You guys just do such a great job and it's so fun. The people are, are, are here, they're excited, they're energetic, and they really want to learn what you have to offer and it's a great show. Great. Well, thanks very we much. Now. 
Thanks again for joining us here at the 7th Annual All Build Expo. My name is Brendan McEnany, I'm the Green Building Program Advisor. We hope you've been able to see some of the resources that are available. There's a lot more, so we hope you can join us next year at the next All Build Expo. For more information, go to allbuildexpo.com or visit the city's green building website at smgreen.org.